Hey guys, this is Lisa Tedder with Tedder Bear Stamping. Welcome. Please leave a chat, a message on the chat thing so we know you're here. Um, I wanted to um, make three cards today. Uh, let me show you the stamp sets we're going to use. One is Wonderful World, and that is a distinctive stamp. And I don't know that you know, distinctive just gives you a lot of uh, design. Like, it just looks more realistic. Hey, Pat. So, um, this is distinctive. It's a uh, technique that we use when we're making our stamps. Stampin' Up! does, not me. But uh, where it is a patent pending on their design because it's so awesome. All right. And then this you can get for free with Celebration if you spend $100. Uh, you get uh, 12 by 12 paper with it. And it is gorgeous. All right. Then I have the Hippest Hippo, which is so cute. And the dies, well, that you can get the dies also. Um, they are, I, uh, the dies you can get for free, I think, with uh, Celebration and um, Sending Smiles is one that's in the big book, and that's what I'm going to be using today, too. This is gorgeous, too. So I hope you guys like the cards today. Let me put these aside. We will be doing a little bit, I know it's a little unusual for me, a little bit of uh, die cutting today. Because one thing I just thought you might want to be able to see how it's done. All right. So for the first card, we are going to make an easel card using the hippos. So let me get everything. And I got to make sure because there's little bits, little bits. Hold on. I'm making sure they're all in one spot so I don't lose them. Okay. I have four. I should have two more. Hold on. I have tiny little pieces and I've only found four. Hold on. Because I throw them all into the envelope and then hopefully they're going to stay. Oh, there's one more. <laughs> okay. Well, I found five. I should have one more. All right. So we're just going to go ahead like I have it all and maybe I'll find it in my envelope. Nope. Okay. So first off, we're going to use Pacific point um, and we're going to score as uh, four and a quarter by 11. And then you score it again so that this is going to make the part for you to do the easel card. So um, we have that. And then, um, I brought in some DSP and everything's listed on my, hey Mary, uh, everything's listed on my blog, tetterbearstamping.com. Let me put that up here so you don't forget. Is it going the right way? That's the only thing I need to know. Is it going, it's right side up, right? I used the Stylish Shapes dies, which I love. Let me show you those. They have square circles and banners, and I love the squares because you can use them like sideways and make it a diamond card. They have stitching on both sides, so as you can tell on this, uh, hopefully you can see, they're stitching here and then the piece that I uh, die cut out. So we have that. So that's one of my favorite die sets. So we have that. I am going to bring in three waves that I die cut using the hippo dies and two of them I have the design that gets embossed on it and one is just the negative that was when it was cut I just cut this off so I could have three layers and I'm going to just put it like this and then put this one so it really looks you know wavy <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and put these together and then we can kind of build up. So I'm going to get out my glue dots. Mary, have you received my package? I'm hoping you have. And that you were surprised. 
I sent you a surprise. Okay. Sometimes they don't want to let go of the paper underneath. All right. I'm just putting it at the tops of the um, waves here so that I can just have it attached and then we'll make it better. Okay. So I'm going to put this here. I want extra space here because I want it to be enough room for our hippo. Okay, so then we'll just put some here. Okay. Good. I'm glad that it's all going the right way. That was a nightmare. Okay, then we need to stamp the hippo and color him. So I have him here with the uh, memento. Well, that's not a good one. I got it on the, hold on, I'm going to clean it. This is why I trim my stamps because I hate the stuff that goes on the inside, but can't do much when it's, Part of the stamp so the best way to fix this is to just do it from the top because then you're not squishing down into the pad the pads going on top and you can see where to put the ink makes it much easier all right see <laughs> sometimes I do know what I'm talking about all right so I'm just going to um, color it with uh, smoky slate light and dark and I just always, I start with the dark and I just go where I think there'll be a shadow or it's darker. And that is where the crease, the, you know, the lines are here and under his arm and here at this. And that's about it. Then the rest just get the light. And I go into where I had the dark so that it will blend. Hence the blend, the name blend. I'm not coloring his face or body yet. We're just doing, or the stomach. We're just doing this. And I think, I'm not sure if I can get them to show, but we can always paint her toenails. You can do it you know, a really bright color or just stick with the same colors that are, I don't know why I'm doing the bottom. We don't need the bottom. So, okay. That's about all I need because the rest we're not going to need because it's going to be under the waves. So now I'm just going to color with petal pink and this one's the dark. I've used the light several times, but I just thought this would be pretty. And just part of his body. See, we didn't really have to go all the way down. All right. I did do her fingernails. All right. So you would go ahead and die cut that, which I have right here. Isn't she cute? And I did the whole body, which you didn't need to do. And then she's going to go right here in the water. And what you need to do is make sure that our circle is good. So I think that that works good. Let's go ahead and put a little bit of adhesive on her and put the waves on top. We do have a little bit of her nail showing right there, so that's good. Okay, so then we're gonna put that aside for a second. Bring out one of the whites. They're both the same size. One's for the inside. And I am going to take my thing right here and leave that there for just a second and come in with balmy blue because I don't want it to look like it's real white. So let's I like to have it go off just a little, though this isn't very dark. I'm just going to show myself where I'm doing it because I don't want it to go, you know, I don't want to have to do a whole bunch when I don't need it. So I'm just going to go in the middle here. I 
I think I need more ink on this because it's not blotchy. Well, it is just a little bit right there. All right, let's see if we got enough. We don't want to go to the sides because I don't want it to show from here. All right, so that's good because down here we'll have the waves. All right, so we're going to go ahead and let me put tape on the back of this. This is going flat. All right, so now we have that. I just want to make sure that I have this going like that. All right, so I'm just going to line this up. I think that's about right. And now she's down. So now I can move this. It doesn't matter if this is straight or not. We're going to go in with some foam adhesive strips because I like it really popped up. They're in my container here. Okay, there we go. So I just put them as close to the circle as I can get because that's the ones that usually um, will make it sag. All right. Well, that's pretty close to the edge, so maybe we'll cut that just a tad. Just don't want it so close that we're going to end up where you can see it. Okay, so I'm not going to take it all the way off this because I don't want to have to re-put it on. So we're just going to do a little bit. And here. There, now that can go right back on and we're good. Okay. Now I am going to do something with the hippo, but we can do it after we put this on in my directions. This is how I wrote it. So that's why I thought I better go ahead and just do it the way I wrote it. But it's uh, a PDF on my blog where you can print it off and you'll have it set for if you want to ever have this again or do this again. I did do this in one of my classes. So those of you that have gone to my classes and You'll know that there's two of these cards that are the same as what you've seen. And then you will not, the other card is brand new. So don't leave because you think that I'm doing all old. All right. So I'm going to use liquid glue and our new little tweezers here. And I'm going to put little snorkeling things on him. He's so cute. She, excuse me. I said she was a she. <laughs> I'm just doing these tiny little dots, hopefully, so that they don't squish. All right. Put them on. Now, I am going to send this. I know I said this at my class. I'm going to send this to my son because he is a scuba diver. And I think he'd get a kick out of it. He wouldn't tell me he got a kick out of it, but I think he'd like it. He likes to tease me and heaven forbid he should ever say something that I might like. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to have it go to the side here. Isn't that cute? Love it. It's so cute. Okay, so that is going to go on to this piece. That is an extra piece because we needed one that's going to go on here to make it stand up. So, whoops. This is just going to go on flat. All right. Now, you're going to put tape on this part because we don't know, you know, if we did it on this, it might go over. So we're just going to go ahead. Well, first, excuse me, I almost forgot something. We are going to put some ribbon on here. And I know this is really wide, but I really love this ribbon. So I decided that I'm just going to use a lot of it. 
How is everybody doing? I have a sneak peek for the net for next month and two months after for my besties. Just one card of mine. You guys are missing out if you are not a part of the besties because this is. I don't think I've ever had so much fun because we we keep uh, making cards that are different and using new ways of you know putting your cards together and i've learned something every month all right so i'm going to go ahead and because i know that this is going to be on here now that i've got the ribbon on i can put it on here and then i'm just going to line it up with the bottom here whoop and hopefully that means it'll line it up at the top it should right okay now I'm going to tie a bow because we can't have it not have a bow. Just wanted to get that down. Whoa, that's a big bow. <laughs> okay. Here. Okay. Now, one more glue dot to get this on. Where did I put them? They're not in here. Oh, here it is. Okay. So if you don't know what the besties is, I'm going to tell you while I'm getting this done so that I'm not just sitting here. Um, it's a group where two of my friends, both um demonstrators one's in canada and one's in uh arizona and we make two cards each so we have six cards between us we have quite a few uh years of uh knowledge in the stamping world but it's pretty cool that we can still learn from each other all right so now i used the square for um, the, the smallest, I think, square from the stylish shapes. And I am going to put on one of the sentiments with Pacific Point because that's the cardstock we're using. I'll tell you more about besties in just a minute. I just want to get keep working here. Oh, you really are the best. It should have gone the other way. Let's see how bad it will look. Oh, it'll be fine. We'll just put it down here. I'm sure it'll be fine. You don't even know what I'm doing, so it's all good. <laughs> I'm just going to put this on a piece that is cut so it could be a layer. Now, there is a couple people on here, I think. Maybe. I don't know that are a member of the besties and they said that um they don't understand why more people don't sign up for it because it's so good you get the six cards all the like half of a pack of designer paper a roll usually you get some ribbon and some embellishments and the price is 40 if you're picking it up, 47 if you're having it mailed just because price of mailing it so much. And um, the amount of goodies you get is between 20 and $23. And so there's not much going towards me. I'd rather get paid from Stampin' Up than to have you pay me. So that's what we're doing. All right, so I just put in a white piece here. And then we have a few more things, but we're going to put it up about, you want it to be able to stand up. So let's get it in the middle. And then we have it like that, see? So when you mail it, that's how it goes. All right, so I wish I had six of these, but I only have three or five so i'm gonna go ahead and put some glue on here 
and pick it up with my tweezers. It's really tiny. All right, where did I put my tweezers? There they are. Okay, so I am going to have this. Do it this way. Because I really want this to be cute. Okay, and then we have another one. Whoop. They might have been supposed to be going the other way, but I think we're okay. All right, let me put one more on here. Whoa, it's really small. There we go. We have that. And then I'm going to put, since I only have two, we'll just do that here. <laughs> I'm sure it's on the floor because that's where things seem to go to die. But if you saw my floor, you'd know it's kind of a lost cause to look for it right now. <laughs> Much to my husband's chagrin, because he always wants me to vacuum before everybody comes. Okay. Whoop. Went. Then we're going to add some opal rounds just for it to have a little bit of bling on the front. So since I've only got two here, I'm gonna add one up here. And I like to put it kind of in the flowers. I'm gonna put one right here. Okay, so there's card one. Isn't that the cutest? So one of you, if you decide that's what you want, you could get this one. So this is what it looks like when you are standing it up. Let's see if you can see. There you go. Woo. So cute. All right. So I'm going to stick that over here. All right. Then I'm going to do the one that is new to those that come to my classes in person. And this one, I uh, was inspired by Claire Daly. She had one that kind of used this stuff. And I really wanted to make the card. I changed it up, of course. But um, I want to give her uh, a heads up. Okay. So this is Cherry Cobbler. Yay, I'm glad you caught a live. Okay, so who is JF835? Couple weeks, does that mean at Backstage or at Carol's house? <laughs> that is important that we know what one that we're talking about. So then I know. All right, so this is Pretty Prince. I'm pretty sure it's Pretty Prince or it's Sun Prince. It's on my blog. But look at how beautiful that is. And I know that this isn't labeled, this one right here, is not cherry cobbler. But I thought that these looked awesome together. Now, because I'm going to be using ribbon, I'm going to go ahead and use this. And that way I can wrap ribbon around and not have it go on the inside of the card. Because that's one of my pet peeves. I don't like them going on the inside. Oh, I, oh, Jackie. Hey, Jackie. I'm excited to see you. You're fun. <laughs> Glad you came. All right, so I'm putting that on. And then I'm going to go ahead and wrap some ribbon around. Excuse the reach. And this is the crinkle ribbon. I just wanted something white. No bows today on this, just crinkle. All 
Jackie, you're part of the um, besties, right? Thought you were. I could be wrong. All right. Whoops. I want it over just a little. There we go. All right. Isn't that pretty with that there? I just love it. Yes, I knew that you were a part of the besties. It's worth every penny, isn't it? And you learn something new every time. At least I do. And I've been stamping, gosh, 20, almost 22 years. That's a long time. All right. Okay, so I just put it on now. When you open it, there is no ribbon. That was important. Okay, so then I die cut a circle from the um, those dies that I told you about. The, why is my brain? Stylish shapes. <laughs> I, I did that. All right, and then we're going to stamp a couple of the leaves in... Let's see if I can find it. Old Olive is at the bottom of the pile. Okay. So I'm just going to have one this way. And a little bit higher. There we go. Thank you, Jackie. I think we do too, but that's, I'm very spoiled. All right, so now we are going to stamp our flowers. And what's cool is that they are two separate stamps, so we can make the cone be a different color than the flower if we want. Okay, so I'm going to set these on here because I want to um, be able to. Um, I cut it. So I did this with the uh, Calypso Coral. And then I'm going to come over. I don't know that you guys know the rock and roll technique, but you just kind of tilt your stamp and only roll on part of, you will get some on your block, but just so that you get two colors here. Whoops, let's turn it over. Well, that didn't come out very well. We'll try it again. Let me clean it. That's why you have all these extra, the white. All right, let's try this again. You would think I inked up my stamp or something. Oh, that's better. <laughs> I need to clean it in between because I have two stamps, two colors. Hey, Gail. Speaking of besties, Gail, your packet is ready at my house. You have to get it before Wednesday because I'm gone. All right. So here is the flower top. And I'm just going to do the, um, oh, that one's not one I liked. The uh, cherry cobbler. Who knew cherry and cobbler and this went so well together? But those are cute, aren't they? All right. And then I'm going to keep this out because I'm going to do the sending. And we're going to stamp that here on the top. And then we can just die cut it all. Okay, let me get this stuff out of the way. I'm going to bring in my mini which if you guys don't have it it is the best tool i love this thing it doesn't look at how bad my plates are whoops that way but it doesn't leave any marks with this machine the bigger one sometimes it does but this one does not all right so let's move this to this side so you can see all right Okay, so I have this sending right here. And if you come to usually my 
um, stamping functions, my big ones, like uh, World Card Making Day, you will be able to maybe win one of these. Pretty cool. All right, so I've already got one done. So I'm just going to do these two. But I wanted you to see how cool this machine is. Oh, and it's shaking up a storm. I'll try to go slow. <laughs> ah, okay. All right, so I'm going to stick these back in my thing. So we have that and the flower. And then I had one already done. I didn't want to run it through twice, so I figured that would work. So we're going to go ahead and put dimensionals on the back of the flower. Really, I just need to put, well, I should put two. Okay, and then that is going to go on top of here. Isn't that cute? Oh, the hair doesn't go in there. I love the stamp set. This was one of the ones out of the big catalog that I just had to get. All right. Look at how cute that is with the two colors. All right, then we're going to put this on here, but only partial. So I see that I need to do the N and the D halfway. So I'm just going to make sure. Okay. So we're going to put that on. And then whatever is hanging over, I'm going to put dimensionals on because that this will be popped up too. So this is where we, or I, do it over both so that they are definitely secure together. Okay, then a couple minis because those words are small. I love the minis. Okay, there we go. So now we bring that back in and we're just putting this on. Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. Okay, this is the Sending Smile stamp set. So everything is on my blog. So you can go on there and see everything that I use, plus step-by-step -step instructions on how to make it. And a PDF that you can print off and save for another time. And if you're a demonstrator, you can change them up because my pictures all have my watermark on it, but you can always change it up and um, do a class. All right, so there's that. Now we just have one more thing to do. And where'd that piece of, here it is. All right, so I wanted, just like um, Claire did, it was kind of cool, that I want to mix and match the words that are in here. So this one says, smile across the miles. Well, I don't want it to say smile, so I'm just going to do, and I have it even going off my block, so I don't, send it or do it wrong. Let's see. So we got that. Then we have birthday wishes. We need that. Okay. And then we have love and big hugs, which I only need love and, so I'm just going to do part of it. And I'm trying to do them on the, the side so that I don't have as much to cut. But... This is when you either use your cutter or you have a really nice, um, I'm gonna go ahead and do an angle cut here, but where you have nice scissors. Okay, and then angle cut both, see, across the miles. 
birthday wishes. Oops, sorry, shouldn't be doing that off camera. This is a little bit further away from the side, so I'm gonna go ahead and I have to do it from this side. Is that because I'm right-handed? I don't know. My mom was left-handed, always wanted one of her kids to be left-handed. Didn't happen though. All right, and then now we just have love and. So what's nice is that they are a little bit, like the words aren't super close, so it's easy to do this. Okay. All right, it's nice when you have all that. All right, so I'm just going to put, a, this boy was not straight. <laughs> Hold on, I don't want it to be so obvious. All right. They are the best. I agree, Pat. Hold on, I need to get this up so I can get it. There we go. So we're gonna do, well, that wasn't a very good spot. Love and, okay, whoops. So what's so great about liquid glue? Birthday wishes. Since most of my family lives far away, this is gonna come in handy. All right. And you do kind of want to, if you can put a mini under here, which I did not do. So I'll do it on this one. Put a mini here on the end. Isn't that cute? Okay, then let me get one more mini and I'll put it under that one because I don't want to leave it hanging. This set is, it was, I had to have it. When it first came out, I'm like, okay, that was first on my list. Okay, this one might be too big. Let me cut it. <laughs> okay. Just to be on the safe side that I get it on there. There. Cute, right? All right, then I have these elegant faceted gems that I'm going to put in. I just like the clear because I just want it to pop. I want it to be like, ooh, what is that on there? But they have gold and um, where it's not see-through. All right, so now we have the inside that we have to do. And I have this. Goodness, all this mess. All right, so we're gonna do the flower again for the inside because they have to go together. So we're gonna put the leaf, and if you have an envelope, do the envelope too at the same time, which I think I will do, because that's just fun. Can you imagine getting this in the mail? How fun that would be? Well, one of you will. All right, so we have the Calypso Coral and the Cherry Cobbler again. All right, let me clean my flower again since that's got two colors. And hopefully it's going to be good. See, it's a little bit wet from when I cleaned it. Hopefully. Oh yeah, that looks good. Okay, let's do it again. I always act surprised when something comes out well. <laughs> Not bad. All right. And then I'm just going to do the cherry cobbler like I did the last one. You could use a dark brown or something. I just wanted to keep it with the colors that we have. All right. All my stamps that need to be cleaned when I'm done are going over to the side. I'm 
and this goes on the inside. And then, you know, you have a lot of room. So if you really don't want a lot of room, maybe stamp a couple more flowers. <laughs> I hate having a lot of room to write because it just makes it hard to fill it in. All right, so there you go. Isn't that the cutest? I love it. Whoops, this way. All right, so let's put these aside. And the last card. And this one was one of my favorites. Let me show you another die that is called Fabulous Frames. It has these corners that, you know, one has just got the lines and one's got squirrely stuff. Squirrely us. Uh, I don't know what you'd call it. And then frames. And then I think I've used this one before. But today I'm just using this right here. Okay. So we're going to start off with very vanilla base. I don't use very vanilla very often. I don't know why. I just always reach for white. But this just scream, scream. <laughs> what's, what's the uh, past tense of scream? I don't know. All right. So I ran. Let me just show you what I did. So you run the uh, die over your things. I don't know that you can see, but this has beautiful um, embossed image on here. That is really hard to see. I don't know that you can see it. And this came out of the center. So I'm saving this. We'll come back to it. Okay. And then I did another card which we're not using um, ribbon, but I wanted it to be the whole front because there's not going to be a lot showing. So this ran through the Fern 3D folder. And let me tell you, this thing is gorgeous. So that just fits the total front. I just wanted some texture on the front. And I don't like throwing this in because then it's got it on the back. And it just doesn't look professional to me. So let's see if this will work. Sometimes it doesn't when you're embossed. Ah, did. Perfect. All right. So what I like to do is lay them up against each other and hopefully you have it right. And there. Then it fits up. Fits perfect. Then I have the gray that I ran through. And that's going to go on here. But first, we want to do some more of the foam adhesive strips. Because I really want it to pop. So we're going to go down the middle. My scissors. I see my, my ribbon scissors. Oh, there they are. Pushed them right off the edge. And I don't know whether you guys know, but when my really good clients buy a pair of our snips, I will make you a thing to go on the end to show that this is yours. And so other people will know. Don't touch. Then you won't lose your scissors everywhere. It's very nice. I always go off with people. And it's nice when I know which scissors are mine when I'm crafting. And they're pretty. Okay, so I'm not going to do the whole way across because I don't think it will sag with this little bit. I just don't like sagging. Whoop. Not sure if I got enough for that. Let me get a little bit more. There we go. All right. So you're just going to take this off and put it on. When you see this card in person, it is stunning. I did it in class and they were loving it. Okay. Hopefully that looks 
All right, so that piece that I cut out, I want to put, I'm going to stamp on it because I can't stamp on this because it's all, it's got all that, see, the bumps and stuff. So I just want to have this. So this is why I use the big one because see how there's not much, not much to show, but it does add a lot of, okay, I just put it in there and I can't get it out. All right, there we go. All right, so now we're using the stamp set that down here that has the flower on it or like you know the distinctive and I wish you could be here in person to see how awesome the distinctive stamps look because they are really pretty so we're just using gray because this is a monochromatic card all right and I'm just going to put it right in the middle and hopefully you, you're going to be able to see. Oh, see, I mean, that is so pretty. And that's all I did. All right. And then for the inside piece, since I have the stamp out, it's just this big, I am going to go ahead and stamp the flowers from this here at the bottom, just to add a little bit to the bottom. Less room to write. All right. So I'm going to put that aside for now because we're going to go ahead and put this down. And I'm going to use the liquid glue because then I can slide it if I don't get it in right. Sometimes that tape really holds. And if you're not quite ready. All right. This is so pretty. All right, so I'm just kind of putting it in there. Look at how gorgeous that is. It's so simple and it was so fast, but it was, I mean, it's just stunning. All right, and then I'm going to use the um, rhinestones, our regular rhinestones, and I'm going to do four tiny ones in this one flower center because I really like bling sure you're surprised at that okay and then one up here and you could add more on the card if you really wanted to but oh I think I was supposed to put it on this flower there because that's the only full one okay all right so now for the inside I have a piece of gray because that's what we're using I don't know why I flipped it over Well, that wasn't quite straight. All right, then I have the vanilla one that I cut to get this or the front one. I just wanted to use it twice, but this time we're just going to use no tape because it's on the inside. So we're going to just run a, a small bead down the center of each one of these. So Jackie, you might not want to tell Carol that I'm giving you a sneak peek, but they're only of my cards. So I am going to show a sneak peek of some of the upcoming Besties cards. So if anybody wants to sign up, they're good to go. All right. Hold on. Cakes. Okay. So that's good. And then this is just going to go on the inside. It's just such a simple card. But it was very, it's very elegant and very nice. All right. There. What do you guys think? Isn't that beautiful? I love when I make a card and I just keep picking it up afterwards and just like ooing and awing over it. So here's the three. So we can go ahead and pat can do the drawing while I am showing you the sneak peeks. But these three, whoops, these three. So um, that way you'll know which one to pick from. All right, so the upcoming, which is too late to sign up for, but I just wanted to show you. This is for the one that's coming up next weekend when I'm in Arizona. 
Look at how pretty that is. Simple, but gorgeous. And then the inside, isn't that pretty? So that's one. You can't sign up for it. And then um, the envelopes that go with it are ones that used to be in the celebration. And they sold out really fast. All right. So there's one. Then we have the one coming up in, what is it? That's, a, <laughs> I'm getting so confused. This I think is September. So what is cool about this is that it looks like it's just a regular card, but when it lays, it lays flat and it will lay flat either way, but look at the front. It really pops out and it stands, it has a little stand on the back and it stands up. Well, Jackie, you won <laughs> and Mary again in Maryland. Yay. All right, and then one in October, right? October? Yes. Look at this. Okay, this one I'm super excited about. So that just holds this down, this little corner. Look how cute that is. And this is colored, and then it has Wink of Stella on it. So you guys can sign up for this. Hey, Carrie. Um, so that is something that you can look forward to. It's not expensive to join, but you get all the goodies with it. So one last time, the three. All right. So do we know? Oh, the teacup sweet. You were right, Jackie. I am so sorry. It was the other ones that weren't good. <laughs> the pool party ones. See, I got too much in my brain. All right, so Jackie, Car uh, Marilyn, and Mary. Marilyn, you'll have to just text Pat and let me know what one you like. Mary, which one would you like? And Jackie, which one would you like? I can bring yours this week because I'm leaving up Wednesday to come to your area. Might help if I had them. All right, I know. Okay, so you want, isn't it cute? All right, Mary, so you got that one. So I have one left of these if anybody else wants it. I'm taking it away. Here, we'll put the other one in there. <laughs> like it matters. All right. So, Jackie, which one did you want? The last one. That's this one. Ooh, the stunning one. Okay. I'm putting it in the pile to take to Carol's. All right, girls. Thank you so much for joining me. I will be off the, the uh, month of October because I'm going to be in Arizona. And um, hopefully... You know, I'll get to come. I'll be right back on, in um, September and we'll start all up again. And I might just start up again doing every week. I don't know. We'll have to see how busy I get. All right, girls. Thank you so much for dropping in and I'll see you next month. Thank you. Thanks, Jackie. October, September? <laughs> September is when I'm coming, Mary. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Bye.